We've found the top three hard men in the country. They all think they can do it, but there can only be one winner. Rob Locke, a 43-year-old mixed martial arts expert from the West Midlands. Why do I think I'm hard? Because I can cut out all of the considerations, focus myself, and do the job at hand. Strong mind, determined, focused, dark hard. I'm the one to watch. James Swindles, a 28-year-old heavyweight boxer and fireman from Hampshire. For me, being hard is being able to make tough decisions in tough situations. Sometimes you're not always the biggest and the strongest, but you know you've got to fight to win. I'm here to win. I've never turned up to be second, and that's really what I intend to do. And Leighton Morgan, a 25-year-old boxing business manager from Bristol. I'm my own worst critic. Um, if I don't achieve something, I, I, I get even more head up about the task in hand. I get angry and I go at it again with twice the anger and twice the effort. If I do what I know I can do, then this competition is mine, without doubt. The time for talk is over. Being hard could open a lot of doors for you. Proving your heart could open a lot of doors for me. Six of them. So, if you slip up on this one, then you'll be crying in your beer. Our final three will now race through six doors, and it's gonna cost one of them a pop at 10 grand and a shot at the title. One tiny hesitation or mistake will be very costly. Nice and concentration all the way. Aggression, yeah. Like screaming down his doors like a tank of all the way through. Like, yeah. It's all about this first door as well. If we can get the edge on the first door, you're going to be up here and I'm going to be deflated, exactly. do you know what I mean? Exactly. They're going to be playing catch up. Last but one competition. Yeah. Really, this is the one you've really, really got to go for. Yeah. Absolute determination. Good, plan, yeah. good, you make that plan work. Yeah, okay, really go for it. Yeah. Right, listen up. Those doors are closed to all but the strong. And I need you to open them for me. Hands, feet, head. Use what you need. When the ball smashes, start knocking. Are you ready? All three adopt to the feet first approach, even though Leighton and James are boxers and more than tasty with their fists. James powers in front, using his bulky frame to smash through the doors. Leighton throws himself through the hole in the door. He knows he can't afford a single second against the other two. Rob has mixed martial arts experience and should have the edge on technique in being skilled using both his feet as well as his hands. Simon James has got himself well ahead. He runs over the line and straight into the final of Britain's Harvest. It's a two-horse race to meet him there. 42-year-old Rob has the cunning to drive himself on, but will the youth of Leighton prove too powerful? Leighton turns on the power and rolls himself frantically over the line. I saw the other guys finish. Uh, I could sense they'd finished because it all went quiet. Well, they did that. They did. It just felt gutted, really. Obviously, I had to go through and finish to say that I'd done them, but uh, devastated. The game is over for Rob Locke, a fantastic competitor, but he couldn't overcome the power and speed of the other two opponents. He knows nobody remembers third place.
Well done. You both go through to the final. Take a seat. And lucky for you, there'll always be somebody weaker on the outside. But unfortunately, in here, there'll always be somebody harder. You got this far, and you did yourself proud. But you're still out. Well, quite devastated to make the top three uh, and then come out at this late stage. It's quite upsetting. Uh, because I honestly felt if I did make it to the final against any one of those guys, I could have, uh, I could have done, gone the whole way. Rob did well, but he just couldn't get through those doors quick enough. James went through that test like there was nothing there. He moves into the final with Leighton, both big lads and both know how to fight. This is what it's all about. 52 men vanquished, only two remain. The final fight. It's the Welsh business manager, Leighton, against the fireman from Hampshire, James. They can both box, and they can both call themselves hard. But unfortunately, for every winner, there must be a loser. So let's find out which is which. Back in the ring for the final time. It's the best of three falls out of the ring. The one who stays in, pockets the 10 grand, and gets to call himself Britain's hardest. Fighters to the podium. James and Leighton. This is what it's all about. But to be the hardest, there has to be someone less hard. And this ring is only big enough for two hard men. I'm one. No man was ever beaten because he was knocked down. He was beaten because he didn't get back up. And you only get one chance to get back up in here. Do you both want to fight in the final? Yes. yes. Then get yourselves ready. As a competitor, he is first class, top notch. He's a gentleman uh, and he, he commands respect because of the simple fact that what he can do. He has similar backgrounds. He's got the same strength, same knowledge as I have. James knows how to box, knows all those tricks. Um, so I'd have to maybe fool him or overpower him in another, in another sense. Right, gentlemen, this is what you came here for. The final, 10,000 pounds. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Fight! Uh, he caught me with a really good body shot, he hurt me right on the side of the plexus. So I grabbed hold of him and uh, I tried to push him off, but we both went off. I saw a gap, um, first of all, and went for it with a left hook to the body. He came back with another punch, I think, um, and then grabbed me straight away and pushed me straight off. That ball was a boy. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to fight? Ready. body blows, he's a taller fighter than me, longer arms, a shorter fighter can't fight someone from the outside like that, so I had to get in close. It went, went down to the floor, we're trying to push each other to the edge. Unfortunately he got me off, uh, and then he came down after me. That fall is one fall to Leighton. Yeah. Our Lord both fighters fell from the podium, Leighton initiated the throw, one nil. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready! We always knew the final would be explosive, and these two hard men are not giving each other an inch.
hammering heavy body shots into his opponent, James knew it was all over unless he clawed about back. He makes the throw and puts the business manager onto the edge of the podium. Although Leighton pulls him down, it's James's win and we're all square. Right, this is it. The next throw wins it. One slip, one moment of indecision, and it'll all come to an end. Fighters to the podium! Lunge, Leighton pushes his man across the ring and spinning out of the final. I'm absolutely devastated to have lost. Uh, I only came here for one reason, that was to win. He was the better man on the day. I'm absolutely over the moon to come through uh, to the end of this competition, beating the best of the best. 54 competitors, it's really unbelievable. It hasn't dawned on me yet. It's been so hard and test every aspect of my strength and skill. It's, it, it'll, it'll be a competition I'll never forget. Lynn, if you came here hard, you can never leave. It's the hardest. Yes. I've tested your power, your strength, and your metal, and you responded. For that, Lynn, I give you 10,000 pounds, and you are Britain's hardest. Yes! Well done, 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 now, what you've just witnessed is not only hard, it's also very dangerous. So don't try and copy anything you've seen. Leave the hard stuff to the hard men. So, this is it. The end of the road. It's been long, and it's been hard. But not as hard as our winner, who takes away of him a big bundle of money. But more importantly, Leighton Morgan stakes his claim to be called Britain's Hardest. Ex-CIA agent Jason Bourne is forced out of hiding over on Sky Movie 7 in 10 minutes in the Bourne Supremacy. Next year on Sky 3, though, Soccer AM's All Sports Show.